Don't let anybody. In this story that we have just read, we want to learn simple lessons that will lead you to pray some very simple but very serious prayers. Number one, don't let anybody write you off. It doesn't matter what people may consider about your situation. Don't let anybody write you off yet. Why? Because you are still breathing. And according to Psalm 150, verse 6, Psalm 150, verse 6, the Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So if anybody is trying to write you off, tell the fellow, I am still breathing and I am yet going to praise the Lord. If they tell you that your situation is hopeless, tell them, I am still breathing and I'm still going to praise the Lord. Because the Bible says in Job chapter 14, verse 7 to 9, Job 14, verse 7 to 9, that even if a tree looks dead, and the roots seem to have been wax hold in the air. The tree had been cut down. The roots seem to have wax hold in the air. The Bible says, at the smell of water, it will burn again. So even if my case looked to you like that of a dead tree, as long as that tree has not been uprooted, there is hope for me. And the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 4, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 4, it says, a living dog is better than a dead lion. I am not dead yet. So don't let anybody say they are writing me off. Lesson number two. Don't write yourself off. That's more dangerous than people writing you off. Don't write yourself off. I know, I know some of you have doctor's report. But don't agree with the doctor's report. Thank God for doctors, wonderful people. But they are not the great physician. They are not your maker. They are not the one who created you. They are not the controller of your destiny. In Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34, Mark 5, 25 to 34, the woman with the issue of blood, if she were to listen to the doctor's report, would not have made a move. Don't write yourself off. I know the enemy may be whispering to you. I'll be telling you, hey, last year you fasted. Nothing happened. The year before that, you even fasted for a hundred days. Nothing happened. So what do you think is going to happen this time? Tell the devil something special will happen this time. Make just one effort and see what will be the result. The tide is about to turn for someone today. <laughs> Don't write yourself off. As long as you can still pray, as long as you can still open your mouth to cry to Jesus, there is still hope. 